And look, they're perfect for women, okay? Self-driving car is perfect for women. You can do your makeup without having to worry about the road, okay? We know this. I look left and right. Someone is doing some type of eye makeup, and it's always the damn eye makeup. <laughs> Self-driving cars. Self-driving cars. Do you trust self-driving cars? Mm, <laughs> do I trust? You know, I, I don't trust Uber drivers. Okay, but self-driving cars. <laughs> I don't know. This is tough. This is tough. I, I might have to trust a self-driving car than an Uber driver or Lyft driver. What so about self-driving cars that you get in that's kind of like an Uber? Oh, good so question. So you, you hire a self you hire an Uber and it shows up with no driver. Good. <laughs> Do you oh, trust that's, that? Uh, oh. I think I have to say yes. I, Just you you trust that? I I I think so <laughs> because you're putting it up against a human. Like, look, I mean, if it. Oh, this is so, okay. Let's just say let's let's change the topic. Let's change. Yeah, let's it. change the topic. Some guys, some guys doing some lawn cutting in here. Really? Where? <laughs> hear, I'm looking I hear around him in the background. Yeah, I hear it too. You guys have to stop. We're making a video here. <laughs> making a They're video. Not stop. Are you sure it? Are you sure it's a human or is it a self-driving lawnmower? <laughs> it's a self-driving lawn. Hey, they have that. Hmm. They have self-driving lawnmowers. Oh, like a Roomba. They do. Yeah, it's like a Roomba lawnmower. It's kind of cool. I think it's by Husvana or something, something well, like that. Well, let's some, okay. Let's let let's get back. Swedish thing, but self-driving cars. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say we don't know we don't know when this technology is coming or you know when it's available normally. Okay, we we don't know when it's yeah, going to be here, mainstream. Here's why I don't trust the self-driving car. Okay, all right. Let's say they program in the driving where they're going to go. That you know you tell them where you're going. They figure out the map. Thing. They see things happening. They stop the car. They go forward. They avoid pedestrians. But let's say you're going to get into an accident and you know you're going to get into an accident. Now, there's an old man and there's a young kid. You're going to hit one of them. One of them's going to get it. No matter what, mm -hmm. the self-driving car is going to hit one. How does the self-driving car make a decision who it's going to hit to avoid other worse things? Are you gonna are you gonna take out the old guy? Are you gonna take out the young guy? If it was me, I'd take out the old guy and leave the young kid. But what if this self-driving car just picks, okay, I'm going right and not left, and it hits the young kid instead of the old guy? How does it make decisions like that? Wait, for the, the decision how, how of does choice. It know? Oh. Maybe it kills it you. Know? Maybe it kills you, Russ. Maybe it makes it it, it, it it swerves your car enough to kill the driver or the passenger. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See, and those are the things that I don't, I don't trust. Okay, maybe it can be programmed to get from one place to the other. It sees traffic or mm -hmm. whatever. It stops itself. It goes itself. But when it has to make a decision that's like that, it says it knows it's going to hit something, how does it make that choice? Oh, geez. I don't think it's smart enough. Well, and what, what about, what about who's, who's responsible for that? If, if I own the car, and I'm using my self-driving car. Am I responsible for the bad programming of the well, car? Well, look, look, look. I've, <laughs> I've, I've told other people that if you know, if if the both of us were were old enough to see self, if if we're if we were old enough to buy one, let's just say, right? We don't uh -huh. know if it's 50 years from now or even within five years. But as soon if they announce, if they announce that the liability has shifted if you go get your insurance and you say oh you have a self-driving car okay well your your insurance is lower and also you are no longer liable of of killing anyone it is the car company tesla tesla will be liable G gm will be liable i am getting a self-driving car right away ross okay <laughs> you know what it, it can hit as many people as i want i'm not gonna get sued i'm That's not true I'm, I'm, would That's you get true. one? Would you get one now? Within 10 years, let's say the technology comes out in 10 years, you're not liable. Would you go out and get one now? I, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even trust it. I would. You don't trust it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Here. 
if it's a self-driving car, do you have to sit in the driver's seat just in case? So you can slam on the brakes in case you don't trust the self-driving car? Or do you, are you going to sit in the back seat? And Man, gets driven around you know, by the self-driving car. If I'm getting a self-driving car, I want to do. I I, I want to sit wherever I want to sit. Okay. Okay. What's the point of me? Will the self-driving car? Will the self-driving car even have controls for a driver to be able to hit brakes or to, to turn? You know, good good question. Or is it going to take that all out? You know, I, I think that that's that's a question for the future. Um, I know for sure <laughs> that the idiots. At Ford, GM, and Chrysler love to remove stuff like that. You can't do that. You can't remove you stuff can't like that. that. You you have to put manual no. stuff, you know, so that you can do real things. Because otherwise, it, it it becomes a software problem. Okay, you need to override the software. Okay, or else you, you know who the first passengers of self-driving cars are? Driving instructors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a kid who's driving next to you, okay? You're trusting that that kid can drive. <laughs> hey, you know what? He's never driven a car before. I, I think I'd, I'd, I'd rather <laughs> trust a kid, you know, uh, I'd rather trust a 15-year-old, okay? <laughs> At least they'll take direction, you know? Hey, did those driver's ed cars have extra brakes for the instructor to slam on yeah. the brakes if he had yeah, to? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they have that second brake. I think they, in the passenger seat side or something, yeah. did they have mm -hmm. extra brakes for them mm -hmm. or something? Okay. All right. So now you have control, right? So the self-driving car, they're not going to give you that. So unless you sit in the driver's seat of the self-driving car, mm -hmm. you have no control to stop the car if you wanted to manually drop mm -hmm. the, the brakes down, right? Mm -hmm. So you still have to sit in the driver's seat in a self-driving car if you want some type of control. Mm. If they give it to you. <laughs> They may take that out. Yeah, you know these <laughs> these these self driving cars. I I think there's there's some cool stuff, especially if you're so busy. But it's crazy that if you're so busy that you can't look. They're perfect for women. Okay, self driving cars <laughs> perfect for women. You can do your makeup without having to worry about the road. Okay, <laughs> we know this. I look left and right. Someone is doing some type of eye makeup, and it's always the damn eye makeup. Okay, no one's yeah, I've doing seen that, that too. stuff on their cheeks. Whatever they do. Okay, they don't do that. They do the eye makeup, and that's the worst one because you got to take your eyes off the road. Okay, that's true. Yeah, there you can see them looking up in the mirror. Yeah, instead yeah. of looking on the road. Yeah, yeah, those. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's just as bad as texting and driving. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is. I think it's perfect for people who are just absolutely busy that they couldn't make time. But it's, I think. You know, driving is, you know, I'm not going to say privilege. It's, uh, you know, it's an act of safety, you know. It's like being a lifeguard. You you have to be responsible for your own safety and the safety of others and stuff like that. Right. You know, but like I said, with as soon as they shift the liability to the car companies, <laughs> I am getting one, Russ. I am getting one. Yes. Yes. The liability have to shift to them. Yeah. Because really, if you buy the car, they programmed it. They it, it makes its decision. It's it's the programmer's fault. It's not your fault. Yeah, but you know, if if they make us, <laughs> if they make us half drive, you know, pay attention, so we have to hit uh -huh. the brake just in case the computer isn't smart enough. I don't want to do that. I just right. want to drive. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll drive it yeah. myself. I'll drive it myself. Because I, I don't want to pay an extra 30 grand for a self-driving car that I can drive on my own. You know? Right. It's too much. That's right. Some people like to drive. You're taking it out from them. They can't drive anymore. Yeah, no. That, I, I, <laughs> They're just passengers. Yeah, I, I like driving. But then again, you know, I'm, I, I, I also like to say that, that I'm a good driver. Which will I'll end with that. I am a good driver, Ross, and I'm rolling. I'm rolling out. I'm hitting reverse <laughs> because I've got a reverse shift, okay? Not a button. I'm reversing. Self-driving cars. I'm telling you, it's a whole new thing, right? Are you guys going to get one of these things? Comment below. Let us know what you think about these things. Uh, I'm not so sure myself whether I'm trusting 100% on this thing. Hit the like button, button if you like the video and hit the subscribe button. And after you do that, definitely hit the bell icon so you know new videos are coming towards your way. Talk to you guys next time.